Hey everyone, Kevin here. Yesterday I came to you introducing a press release that came from Amy Klobuchar and three other senators who introduced or are going to introduce a bill that would give $4,000 in stimulus to workers who had been laid off through this pandemic. As long as of course that money is spent on educational expenses. So it'd be kind of either like upfront money or a reimbursement. We're not quite sure yet if this bill is going to include partial unemployment. And we're also not quite sure if this is going to be a tax credit at the time of filing or a tax refund somehow like you get your money back after you spend the money or if it's going to be like an advance tax credit which is exactly what the first stimulus check was so I know there's a lot of debate going on right now what it's is it a tax credit is it a stimulus check the first stimulus check was a tax credit it was just an advanced tax credit but we're waiting for that bill but the reason why that matters and what this has to do with this is Amy Klobuchar is a Democrat. She co-sponsored this bill with three other senators. Two of them are Republicans. One of those Republicans is Senator Tim Scott, whom Donald Trump just today complimented for being a wonderful senator. This is really interesting. And this could be a, a very fascinating pick for Biden because I think Amy is a little bit more in the middle than potentially other picks like uh, Senator Elizabeth Warren or potentially Kamala Harris, who both Warren and Harris, we know are pro monthly stimulus checks where Klobuchar has kind of aligned with more of like a targeted approach like tax credits, which aren't as popular with us. We know that, right? But we also know that Biden is for spend more, like help the people, right? So this is an interesting balancing act that we got going on here. Now, no guarantees yet. This is just an indication that she is being considered for the vice presidential seat. I wrote down some of her uh, previous positions. Uh, it looks like she is pro the $15 an hour minimum wage. She, obviously she ran for president. She's pro affordable housing, rent subsidies, debt relief for student loans, pro nuclear power, nuclear power. <laughs> I wasn't tripping over that. Uh, pro climate change uh, awareness and obviously working with uh, actually farmers to reduce their impact on climate change. We've got anti-Medicare for all, but open to more coverage that is maybe expanding the program. She's also open to citizenship for DACA individuals, but is for more funding for the wall. And she comes from the Midwest. So this is an interesting appeal because Amy kind of sits relatively in the middle, it looks like. Obviously, she is a registered Democrat. Uh, she's pro-legalizing marijuana, pro-increasing capital gains. These are some more uh, Democrat values here. More taxes on the upper income Americans, you know, raising the minimum wage. Those are more Democrat values. But then she's okay with more tariffs, uh, Midwestern roots. Okay, interesting. I mean, this, this is a fascinating balance. I think that Klobuchar might have potentially more appeal to Republican voters. That is, if Biden's trying to, you know, sway more Republicans over to the Democrat ticket, uh, she might be one way to do it over uh, a, let's say, Kamala Harris or Elizabeth Warren. So this is interesting. And it's also fascinating to me that this is the same senator who introduced this potential $4,000 stimulus check bill. Again, we don't have a copy of that bill. I just want to be very clear about that. And I, I think I was clear about that in the video yesterday, although maybe I wasn't as clear as I should be. I'm not a big fan of that bill. I think that bill is going to be a piece of what the uh, sort of Senate responds with. Uh, think of it kind of like, uh, you know, the Democrats put together an 1800 page bill. I think this is like a 10 page bill that might get swallowed up into a bigger bill that Republicans do. And uh, we're not quite sure yet if it's going to be an advanced tax credit, that is a stimulus check, or if it'll be sort of something that you get reimbursed after you file your taxes. So uh, that remains to be seen. Again, we do not have the text yet. If you have the text, please. Comment down below with a link to the text. I've been looking for it all day. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, there's an update for you. Very interesting. Let me know what you think about this VP pick. To me, this is a big move by Biden, a little bit more towards the middle, potentially in a way to kind of steal voters from Donald Trump, especially since uh, this uh, Amy Klobuchar has actually co-sponsored bills with Republican Tim Scott in the past. And Donald Trump seems to really like Tim Scott. That's an interesting connection, kind of showing really that that moderation happening on the Biden campaign. Uh, and uh, also an update for you on that, uh, well, on the latest regarding this bill. So there you have it. By the way, Weeble sent me an email and they said today only, oh, I hate today only sales, but they said today only, there's a random chance that you might get an extra third stock if you sign up for Weeble. So if you have not yet signed up with Weeble, today might be the day to do it. $100 into Weeble, you get two free stocks with a random chance of a third. 
I, I think they're doing that for some kind of anniversary or whatever. While you're down there, get your life insurance. Join me in my programs down below. I do have a coupon code that is expiring soon, and I'd love to see you there. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and until next time.